Did you know AI can now make any music you want? In this video, I'm going to go through every step of installing this free audio generation AI tool called MusicGen, show you how to troubleshoot installation errors, teach you how to generate your own music, and show a practical instance where this music could be used. I'm teaching this in a beginner-friendly way, so you need zero programming or technical knowledge to get started. Also, make sure your computer has at least four gigs of VRAM if you want this to run properly. All right, let's go. First, you need to download a software called Git. This will link help us to clone the code into our own system. In Google, type download Git, and in the search results, you'll find a site called Git for Windows. Go to the site and hit that big blue download button. All right, step one is complete. Now we need to install Python to our system, but not just any Python. We need to install the version 3.10, since that's what works best with these machine learning models. For that, click on the link below and visit the Python site. There in the downloads, click on Windows. Make sure not to click on this download for Windows button because that's not the version we need. Now scroll down until you find the version 3.10.6. This is a version that is well tested and also works with other AI tools like Stable Diffusion and text generation tools. Now it's just the basic installation process. Click on the Git setup, install Git, and click on the Python setup and install Python. Now hold up. Before you install Python, make sure to click on the Add Python 3.10 to Path checkbox. Otherwise, you'll have to do it manually and the process isn't pretty, especially if you're not much of a tech nerd. Now we are done. Pat yourself on the back and go to the folder where you want to install MusicGen. I'm going to go to my desktop. Here, click on the path text box right here. Remove everything. Type CMD and press enter. Now a new command prompt window will open on a screen. Let's jump into some command prompt lines. Go to the page of AudioCraft or MusicGen. This can be done by searching AudioCraft GitHub on Google or clicking on the link in the description of this video. Once you visit the page, scroll down until you find this particular line. This will install PyTorch, which will help this program run. Copy that line, then go to the command prompt and simply right click on it, and it will automatically paste that line. Press enter. I'm not going to do that since I already have Torch installed in my system because of stable diffusion. Now once that is all done, you can go back to the AudioCraft page, click on the URL, go back to the command prompt, and type git clone, and then right click and paste the URL. Hit enter. Now it will download all the files to your directory. Once that is done, go back to the page, select this very last command in here, paste it on the command prompt, and then hit enter. This will install the requirements you need to run the software. And that's it. We're done. If you didn't have any issues, you should be able to enter the folder. Type cmd on the path box. Open the command prompt. Type python app.py and get the program running. Then you'll be getting this URL. You can copy it, paste it on your browser window, and get an interface like this. If that's working, then you've done a great job. Now, now skip to the third section of this video to get started. But if everything isn't working, stick around. I'll tell you the two main problems most people get while running MusicGen and show you how to correct it. All right, number one. First error you get is something like this. A huge chunk of code nobody wants to read. And at the very bottom, assertion error. Torch not compiled with Kuta enabled. In this case, click on the link I've provided below related to the Torch installation and it will take you to a page like this. Now open the command prompt either from your search box or from the path where you installed the software and first copy and paste this line. That will uninstall Kuta. Then go and paste the second line and it will reinstall Torch with everything you need. That should correct the error. The second is an FFMPEG error. If you're getting any error with the word FFMPEG, then that's because it's not correctly installed on your system. Once again, follow the link in the description. You'll go to a page like this, hit download, click on the Windows icon and then select the second link down below. From there, you can click on the Windows installer and then a zip file will download. Now open that zip file and visit the directory you downloaded AudioCraft into and now select all of it and drag and drop them to that folder. Wait, we aren't done. Now go back to your C drive, create a folder called FFMPG and drag and drop your file there as well. Once all of that is done, we have one more step. In your Windows search, type variables and go to edit system environment variables and press enter. It will now open this window. Click on environment variables, click on path, click on the edit button right here.
right here and now select the path of the folder of FFMPEG, which should be C FFMPEG, and then click on this new button and paste it there. Click OK, and we're done. The two issues should be corrected. Now let's take a look at the UI and go over the important settings. The first is the input text, where you can enter the prompt and generate the music. The second is melody condition, where you can enter a melody and generate the music according to that melody. Next, we have the model. Generally, a large model can provide better results, but the developers recommend you to have at least a GPU with 16 gigs of memory if you're using the normal model. If you are using the large one, well, you should have more. So if you have 4 gigs or 8 gigs of VGA memory, it's best to use the small model. You can also use the melody model if you're using a melody condition. Below it, you can change the duration, and as you can see, the maximum duration allowed is 30 seconds. And right below it, you should only care about the temperature tool. Higher temperatures like 1 make it more creative, and lower ones try to stick to the prompt more. Play around with it and you'll find out. Now, how to generate music? Simple. Here, type what you want. Select the model as small, keep the duration you want. In my case, I'll keep 30, and then hit the submit button. If this is your first time using it, then you'll have to wait a few minutes for the model to be downloaded, and then loaded to the UI. Once that is done, you'll get a nice track according to the prompt you entered. Wow, listen to that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Now I'll show you how to generate music with a melody condition. Click on here to choose a melody and then go to your audio craft assets directory and you'll see two melodies. Select one and make sure to click on the melody radio button right here because melodies don't work on the same model and hit submit. That's amazing. Did you see that? The new high top music matched the exact style of the melody we provided and created a new awesome track. Now, how can you use this in a practical style? As you can see, the melody ends suddenly and that makes it difficult for us to loop. But if we can loop this, then we could use this as a soundtrack, perhaps background music in a video game or a soundtrack for a short animated movie. You can use it for anything. To do this, download this free software called Audacity. You can search Audacity on Google, go to the website, hit the download button, and then follow the installer instructions. Now you get a window like this. Now go back to the browser and you can download the track you generated from here. The file you downloaded will be an MP4. You can go to a site like Cloud Convert or any other MP4 to MP3 converter and then convert this to an MP3 file. Once that is done, you can download this and load it into Audacity via the file, Import Audio Option. With this downloaded, you can loop it. To do this, select the empty part of the track similar to highlighting a text and then click the delete button. Now select the whole track, click Control plus C to copy. Put the cursor at the very end and hit Control plus V to paste it. And there you go. It's doing some basic looping. We can move the values around and generate a perfect loop. There you go. We got a nice soundtrack. If you are an audio editor, then you can pretty much do anything you want with this track and improve it any way you want. So that's it. Hope you learned something from this video. As always, make sure to hit the like button if this video helped you and subscribe for more AI tutorials like this one. If you have any questions, then post a comment down below. Thanks for watching AI Gang, and I'll see you all in the next video.